Hello friends, welcome to Child Creative Art. My name is Nilma and today we are going to paint on wine bottle. This video is specially meant so that you can utilize your empty wine bottles and convert it into beautiful home decors. You can see here how beautiful our wine bottle look when we have painted a very simple peacock feather using acrylic paint on these bottles and glasses. And this looks a brilliant decor. All the materials required to paint on wine bottle and glasses are mentioned in the description box below as well as they are shown in the video. To copy this image, please click on the link www.creativeathome.com. Please do try it at your home and enjoy painting friends. So let's start our wine glass painting friends. For that, I'm listing out the materials. What you are going to need are wine glasses, wine bottle. You're going to require brushes. I'm going to use a long hair brush, round brush. This is number one. This is a zero brush, number eight and 10 if required a glass bowl full of water and we are going to require acrylic paint i'll mention the colors we are going to require are two shades of gold light blue color dark blue color peacock green color peacock blue color a dark green color and a olive green color okay and for cleaning the glasses we are going to use clean mate and a cotton cloth so let's start now so here in a wash basin, I'll just wash these bottles. Then I'll close this point using a scrub and fill the whole wash basin with water. Okay, in this way, I'll dip my bottles for at least half an hour so that these papers will be removed very easily i'll keep them in this way as these bottles were dipped for a long time now you can easily remove this paper holding a corner one by one just remove it gently so here you see all the paper part is removed and if there is any remaining glue so scrub it out using this kind of scrubber and make the glass totally clean so here i have washed it once again and you can see it's uh, very clean and clear then we'll also remove this tag and we are going to do the same with the next bottle here you see friends that our bottle is cleaned up and ready to be painted and these are the paints which we have got. On this bottle we are going to make two peacock feathers. First of all you have to draw a oval shape for the peacock feather center. Okay, now we'll get this two golden spots dry for some time. So here as the first layer has got dried up, we'll apply the second layer. Okay, so now I'll let the second layer also get dried up. So now as the golden spots are dried up now, using light blue pearl color will make a small oval in the bottom center of this golden oval okay now we'll again let it get dry and after that we'll paint the next color so now as the golden spots have got dried up we'll make the stems and the wings for our peacock feather first of all we'll give it the main line so want to go in this way and for this one So these are the two feathers. Okay. 
In the same way, we'll do for the next ring. So here are the green feathers made. I let it get dry. Now we'll paint the center of this peacock feather as this blue color has gone dried up. It should be in a reverse kind of heart shape. This is how it should look. The next peacock feather. Okay. Now as that path has got dried up a bit, I'm going to add a tint of green. Turning the bottle to the next side. Now I'm using the peacock green color. and the peacock blue color So here is our bottle completed. I'll let it get dry now. Then I'll show you how does it looks. Okay. Dear yeah, friends, now you can see that our wine bottle painting is finally completed and the paint has got dried up and this is how I have placed it. And now I'm going to tie this blue color ribbon on the neck of the bottle. First of all, we'll make a simple knot. You can tie any color ribbon you like to give it a beautiful look. So here you can see that friends, I have tied a blue ribbon to my bottle. You can tie any color ribbon which suits to your bottle. Our acrylic paint on glass has got dried up completely and this is how it looks from the inside. You can see very clearly. The design is much beautiful from the inside as it is from the outside. For the next videos, I'll also tell you how you can preserve your paint on glass without harming it or without spoiling your paint okay now as you can see the ribbon looks very beautiful on the bottle the same we are going to do with the glasses for the glasses i have selected golden color ribbons you can also select blue color or pale green color ribbon in the same way we are also going to tie golden color ribbon on our glasses and for the edges i'm going to cut it in v shape Now I'm going to tie a knot in this place of my glass, okay, using the same golden color ribbon. First of all, you have to tie a center knot on your glass without spoiling the ribbon. You can also apply a glue over here so that your ribbon would be fixed up to your glass.
So friends, here you see I have tied a golden ribbon below the wine glass and secured it also using a two side tape because it slips down. You can also use a glue if you want to. Now I'll place it with the set. So friends, here is our final look for the wine bottle painting. My request would be please to watch the previous video wine glass painting so that you may complete the whole set of bottle and glass painting. If you did like this video friends, please to like, subscribe and share.